Right, the moment we've all been waiting for. KSI v Logan Paul. Who do I think is going to win? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing our... Right, okay, right. He, he clearly does not want to be there, do you? What is up, guys, and welcome to my KSI versus Logan Paul fight prediction. Hold up, what's this I'm wearing, you ask? Well, this is the Wolf London, and you can get it in the link in the description. Use Josh20 for a 20% discount. On a, on a real though, this clothing is actually insane. Like, the fit of it is so nice, the material, that good, good cotton. Um, <laughs> it's just embroidered, it's just a nice fit, and it does the job. Well, I don't know what I mean by does the job, because it's, it just stays on you. It, a t-shirt doesn't really do much else. But this one is, a, is very special to me, so make sure you head down in the link in the description and cop yourself one. So the undercards. The first undercard is Halal Ham and Drizzy Jeremy. I don't know much about these, but what I do know is that my brother knows Drizzy Jeremy. He used to go, what, what is the cat doing? My brother knows Drizzy, Dr Drizzy, Drizzy, Drizzy Jeremy. I don't know what his name is, but anyway, that, that kid. He knew him from college, and he's quite he's quite wham compared to I mean that halal ham guy. He's just a size, and in terms of not like a bulky size, as in terms of he's just a fat shit. I mean, he's <laughs> just so he's huge. Like, I don't, he won't be able to move around, around as quick. He's not gonna be able to. He's not gonna be able to do what Drizzy can. So for that one, I have to say Drizzy. I don't really have much information on this, and but what I do know as well is that halal ham guy. I, that's definitely not his name, let's be real. But he, he has had experience, apparently. He used to box when he was younger, but I feel like everyone says that. Oh, I used to box when I was younger. I'm like Mike Tyson. Anyway, our next, we're moving on. We've got Momo Thief HD and Rossi HD. Or Momo and Rossi HD. This fight is quite really weird. Like It's just a fight that I feel no one wants. I guess it's kind of interesting, but no one really wants to see. You know what I mean? Like Momo, he is the skinniest twig I've ever seen. Like, he's so brittle. Like, like Rossi can just blow him and he'll just fall over. So, so that one's just void. Like, I'm, I'm going, nah, to be fair, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've seen Momo on the pads. He's all right, but he's just like, I don't know. I just feel like Rossi will do it. He's got a bit more of a size to him. JMX versus Coach Richard. Now, Coach Richard is an athlete. I think he's a... He, what the fuck was that? So Coach Richard is an actual athlete. He done something like he sprint 100 meters, 500 meters. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't really give a fuck. No, basically he's a nobody. But like, realistically, his channel's got like 5k subscribers, which to be honest is more than I have. But JMX on the other hand has fought before. He fought on the uh, Joe Weller undercard versus KSI. He knows what it's like to embrace the feeling of thousands of fans and like the moment, and he knows how to deal with that. And to be fair, he's a fucking size. Like he's huge. Like. The only thing that Coach Richards has in him is maybe more fitness because he's more fit and he can keep up with the stamina. So I guess all that, I guess he's just got to be running around the ring to be honest. Faye Sensei versus PJ. Like I'm gonna be honest, I'm just gonna say your boy Faye Sensei because he's just sick. Like I, I don't even know who PJ is. He's like a fucking peanut. I don't know. So Faye Sensei. Next one is Raka Raka versus Scares. When I saw this, I didn't actually think he's real. Most of these don't sound real. It's like such an odd thing. I don't really watch Scares, but I know he's pretty much like drama look. But the shitter B Tech version. So who will win, Raka Raka or the knockoff Keemstar? I mean, like in my opinion, I think Raka Raka. I mean, if you see their videos, because I've watched some of their videos, they're just so they're mental. They're fucking crazy. Like they they honestly couldn't care less. Like they'll just be standing there, just taking punches. Although in their videos, obviously, it's not real. Does that make sense? It's just like all edited CGI. <laughs> Imagine when they get punched in the face, it's like, oh, that actually quite hurt. But yeah, and scared on the other hand, he's just quite. I don't know, he's not built for the for the sport. He's not really built for the sport, if you get what I mean. And the last undercard, a Nissan Gibb versus Jay Swingler. I have, I'm, I think this is one, although it's on the undercard, and it's not as big as the other top two, it's such an interesting fight. Like, a Nissan Gibb, he is an absolute beast. Like, he even fights, he even spars with KSI and they do well together. He's a fucking size now. He's actually not. He used to be fat as shit, but even still, he done well. He just destroys any opponent in the ring. I, I seriously don't get it. He must have just amazing work ethic when it comes to training and stuff like that. And he knows the boxing ability. He's also been trained by Vidal Riley, who's also training uh, KSI and JMX. That's also the one I didn't mention. JMX and a few other people was training Jaji, but not anymore. Oh, he was dropped. Nah, I'm joking. Then Jay Swingler on the other hand, I've seen stuff, it's not just like, 
I don't know, like he's quite real on YouTube, he's not a fake person and he's put stuff on his Instagram and just uploaded that, he looks serious, like he hasn't, he's proper serious, he has not uploaded for ages, I think he uploaded a few TGF main channel videos but on his second channel he has not uploaded and the stuff they do in TGF is fucking, like if he, he can take a punch, he can fucking take cuts, wounds, all that shit, like nearly dying by a microwave, forgot about that one. So, uh, I just don't know, because Anison Gibb is acting like the KSI in this situation, he's so, so confident, where, and, but also Jay Swing is so confident, and in his videos, his videos are much better, he puts so much work into him, so, I'm going to have to say, it probably won't happen, if, but if it does, I'm going to say draw, I can't, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I can't, I can't choose between. One of the most important, if not the most important fights, comedy shorts gamer, your boy Deji, versus Jake Paul. Right, so on the top of this, when I first heard and it was announced that they were fighting, I was 100% Jake Paul, and like, I didn't want him to win, but it's like, you can see from Deji's previous like things, it, although the, the footage that we've seen of Deji, he's getting punched in the stomach and he's knocked down straight away and stuff like that, and in the face. It is a video and end of the day, it's not reality, although it could be that as well, because Jake Paul in an interview did say on Two Geordie's podcast that Last year, and he said it on his channel as well. Last year, there was a video in, his, in their kitchen when they were fighting, and he got hit again. But then again, you can't use that argument because it was still for a video. The, the videos are meant to entertain. Well, then again, Jake Paul does have the athletic background, which he fucking can't stop mentioning every two seconds. Although, obviously, that does take that that, that does play a big factor in performing in front of big crowds and stuff like that. And he didn't lose his call in the, both performances, whereas Logan did. But. He's just a size, he looks like he works hard a lot, probably more than De Deji, but the only thing I think that Deji could win is the fact that people doubt him and he's going to just get the fire in him to just be like, alright, fuck this, we're going to go ham. So I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for... It's bad, I want, I want Deji to win, I hope Deji wins, but I'm going to go for... Jake Paul wins... But Deji has a good fight, at least. Because a lot of people are thinking Jake Paul would go in and just bang him, one bang him or something, and just fall to the floor. So Jake Paul will win, but it'll go. I think it'll go fairly far, and then maybe five rounds or something like that, five, six rounds, and then Jake Paul wins. Jake Paul just wins. But I feel like Deji will put up a good fight, at least. Right, the moment we've all been waiting for, KSI v Logan Paul. Who do I think is going to win? KSI's got the experience. He's got the better trainer, whereas Logan, he's got the size, he's got the reach. There's so, so many factors to consider into this, and I'm, I'm, I'm so, like, I'm just so, when this was first announced, it was almost like everyone said that, obviously, Jake, like, I remember in the Sidemen podcast, everyone was saying that, yeah, you wouldn't fight Logan, he'd fuck you up, but the amount of work JJ has put in, into everything, not just music, and everything he's done, it's unreal. His camp, he's training with Dal Riley, which is, which is, he's still an amateur, he's going pro, but he's still an amateur, but he is a fucking good fighter. Like, he went to the main world gym and showed them up. Logan's people never had, I don't, they look, to be fair, they, I don't know, I don't really know about their camp and about their trainer, but the guy does, called Mr. Miyagi, like, I don't know, like, does that mean anything? Not really, because he's just not, though, is he? I feel like, even though Logan Paul's the bigger person, he's got the big muscles, yeah, so he's still got more power, and we've seen that from Bradley Martin's video. And also, he's got he's got precision, and I think he's got the better boxing ability. He's he's got the he's got the power because in the Joe Weller fight, Joe Weller looked like the more built person in terms of the structure and how he looked, but KSI had more power into him. Logan, like, they both they both work. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they both work hard as fuck, and I like you got to respect both of them stepping in that ring. But I feel like Logan, like KSI said, he could fall under pressure. The thing is with this one, it's different to the last one, because the last one, JJ, KSI was fully confident, fully cocky, and he backed it up. Whereas Joe Weller, he sort of, he mentioned it a few times in a press conference, saying, oh yeah, I'm going to win, something. But he didn't go as ham as JJ. But in this one, you got two fucking dons, or if you're in America, dudes, or wherever you else, just people, going at each other. And they both think they're going to win, 100%. They have tunnel vision that they're going to win. Like, all four, to be honest, all four of them, all four of the main fighters, KSI, Logan, Jake Paul, Deji, 
they all think they're going to win. So it's going to be interesting to see how that goes out. But I think under pressure, in his mind, he's sort of lost, but he's trying to convince himself he hasn't lost, Logan. Because he stormed out of that press conference. No matter what he says, it, like you know he felt stuff. Because he made a video, because he even made a video about it, about how he felt about the whole Chloe Bennett stuff and other situations about his dad and everything else that was mentioned. So, who do I think is going to win the fight? KSI. I think KSI is going to do it. I feel like KSI is going to... I feel like KSI is going to prove everyone wrong once again. And to be fair, he is the favourite. But that's who I think is going to win. Remember, I'll be at the fight. Your boy. Make sure you see me there and say hello if anyone even fucking knows who I am. I don't know. I'll be suited, suited and booted, as they say. It's going to be one crazy night. If you did like this video, please give it a massive like. Subscribe down below. Comment down below what you thought of this video and who do you think is going to win the fight. Take it easy and in a bit.